Hey everyone, Luther here. Welcome back to more Golden Sun. About 17 episodes of Wandering the Sea have finally paid off. We are entering Lemuria. other ships like our own. Incredible. Like, that was Synergy, wasn't it? Are they at it? Who are you? Are you the ones who defeated Poseidon? Yep. That's quite something. Who are you that you could defeat that Leviathan? If you're strong enough to defeat Poseidon, you are too dangerous to enter Lamari. The king's orders are clear. They cannot grant you entry. Who is your king? His Highness, King Hydrax, of course. His Majesty has ruled over Lemuria for centuries. King Hydrax has decreed that Lemuria must be kept safe from dangerous outsiders. You say that we are dangerous, but you do include me as well? Piers! Did you join him in battle against Poseidon? Everyone knows you possess great courage, but you are still a mere Lemuria. Such comments do us all a great disservice. I battled fiercely alongside my friends. Leave our landing to me. You have my word that we shall create no problems during our stay. Will you not permit us to enter? Pierce, I know you are a man of your word, but the King's orders must stand. I understand that we cannot simply ignore the King's orders, don't you, Piers? What is King Hydrax doing? So you people really take your king seriously, don't you? This one, Pub, do not dishonor the King of Lemuria. We are peaceful, but quick to anger. Pub, I must be twice your age. Who are you calling Pub? You have see Lemuria, and yet you know so little of us. I am far older than you. Show respect. Ha, older than me? INCONCEIVABLE! You keep using that word, Kraden. Why do you keep using that word? I do not think it means what you think it means. Or, actually, Kraden, these two are perhaps older than all of you combined. Babby must have spoken as you. In Lemuria, time passes quite slowly. Well, I suppose I recall something last year. Maybe. Imagine for a moment that these two gentlemen are older than I am? It's a bit much. But perhaps I was rude, and I hope you accept my apologies. My, my ignorance has led me. Well, just so long as we're clear on that. If your fighting is as still as your word play, then perhaps you aren't so dangerous to us. I agree. Perhaps His Majesty will provide an exception in their case. Patrick might be willing to reverse his order if we confer with him, wouldn't he? We shall speak with him at once. King Hydrus has been seeking news from beyond the sea of time. He will want to see you. Wait here. How do you think we'll be able to see you for more? Time means low to most of them. For most, us could seem like a lifetime to outsiders. You seem young to me, and yet you were probably an old man among your people. I imagine you've probably done enough with you. Hadris instructed us to be kind to the elderly at all times. We seem trustworthy enough. Shall we let them in? I can see no reason not to. We won't get in trouble, will we? I will be with you. Now please, let me walk the streets of my home once more. I beseech you. 
and place a trust in man, but don't do anything rash. If you cause any trouble, we'll hunt you down and exact swift and terrible vengeance. Do we have your word? No! What? Are you insane? Or maybe you think you're funny? Because you're not! Maybe this whole quest is just a game to you, but it's not to me. Are you bored? Do you want to go home? Fine! That's it! Then let's go home! <laughs> that is what I was trying to do by answering no to all of Creighton's questions. Except I think I might have missed one or two. Uh, look it up on YouTube. I'm pretty sure there was something enough. I, I, I'm pretty sure there was something else you should have said. Oh well. Very well, Pierce. We place our faith in you. Enter freely and peaceably. You must already be aware of this, but you are not permitted to enter the palace. If the king were to find out about this, we'd be in big trouble. Dorian, I won't let that happen. Is this Hydra's really so fearsome? Fearsome isn't the right word. King Hydra's has lived longer than anyone. He is most wise. While everyone respects him and holds him in great reverence, it would be a mistake to call it fear. I certainly do not fear him, but can we... be... be what? You will understand once you meet the king yourself. But that does not matter now. Let's go. To Amoria, the city of all the longing to see. Fields can now summon Eclipse. We need three Jupiter and two Mercury. Okay. Let's toss our other lucky medals. See what we get. Second ring. What do we get? Aegis Shield! Doink. Hello, turtle. Hestia Blade. Talk about boss fight. Whoa. <laughs> Outside. Oh. Ooh, what's this? Floral dress. Hello. Where are you going to Got the crown of 
glory. Mighty Axe. Coming through, Mr. Turtle. Right in the middle, again. We've got the Erebus armor. Whoops! <laughs> Hello, turtle. Another Aegis Shield. Get that to Pierce, I guess. Right in the middle. Didn't even hit anything this time. I'll show you what happens if you throw a coin in there. He won 10 coins! Awesome! Whoops! Alright, let's get everyone equipped, shall we? Restores PP over time! Awesome! That's everything. Ah! Let's talk around a bit more. Mary has no disease, no war, no even sorrow to think of the paradise, and yet all who come to our city seek relief soon after arriving. We too much to leave. I haven't been surprised at Over here, this palace is magnificent! This palace is remarkable, truly remarkable. Who goes there? I've not seen you in Memoria before. Wait a minute. Don't you see a traveler as you arrive at Pierce. Is your name Felix, perchance? You mean Piers the Lost One? Have I earned a title in my absence? Well, worry not. Piers is lost no more. I seek counsel with King Hydras. Has His Highness been told of my return? Word was sent, but I do not know if he has reached the king. What do you mean? Lord Conservato is meeting with His Highness as we speak. I'm not Conservato. You won't look pleased to hear that name. Craven, 
what do you think of what you have seen of Moria? It's a magnificent city, or do you mean a castle? Both are magnificent. Henry Felix, do you agree? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Any newcomer to our town would doubtless feel the scene at first. The age of past Lemuria was a far lovelier, more grand, and more lively city. His Highness the King tells of days gone by of a more brilliant Lemuria long before my birth. In the countless years, our people have lost vigor, enthusiasm, and creativity. Lemuria has fallen to slow collapse, a city that has lost its spark. Lemuria, as you see, it is only a shadow of the city of legend. city in all its splendor, but how does Conservative figure in? King Hydrus believes that our decay is related in some way to alchemy. Alchemy? King Hydrus wants to find a way to stop the ruin of Lumaria. If there were anything we could do to help stop it, we would. But the Sentries are unwilling to take action. They're stubborn and they fear any change. Gee, what does that sound like to you? Senate? What is the Senate? The Senate is the group of elders who determine policy in Lemuria. Well, conservative holds the highest office in the Senate. The Senate usually opposes any new ideas and proposals introduced before it. Or about a rebel will never reach the king as long as conservative has his ear. And the conversations with the king are incredibly long. We have no choice but to wait patiently here. Why don't we spend our time looking around Lemuria until then?
hard mud. Yeah, let's have sheep in this egg. Because her defense is still the worst if you apply all these class of forces. Do I want to look up to open? We could go up there, but I'm gonna see. In fact, let me give this a peek. Let me give this a peek. Just because. She? Am I still illness in the warrior? 
My mother was born with a weak heart. That appears, I'm sorry. Your return comes too late. After the tidal wave washed you to sea, your mother suddenly fell up. The shock of losing you was too great for her poor heart. She fell out hope for your safe return until the very end. Perhaps your mother gave herself up to ensure your survival. Does that sound not sound like your mother? Where is she now? She rests in the cemetery now. Check the headstones. Go find her. struggling with the loss of his mother. He needs time. You came to Lemuria to learn more about me, did you not? I suspect as much. Pierce was right to bring you here. Just told me a secret. The mission he was given by His Highness the King. If he had the tidal wave not carried Pierce off, he would have left us. Such was his fate. Look at Pierce. Pierce told you about this, did he not? not let the Senate to oppose him, he would have left sooner. And that news Pierce has brought with him. Anyway, I do know why he has brought you here. Still, don't tell me if he hasn't at least told you that much. I say he's told you, but you look rather confused. Fortunately, I know little more than that. And while Pierce confronts his sorrow over the loss of his mother, you will have some time. I shall write you a letter, so that you can see Loompa. Loompa has locked himself in his tower and rarely comes out, but if I send him this, he can see you. That's a cute birdie. All I need is a bird to carry to him in his tower. Should be able to see him now. Pierce? 